Alright guys, Mike here, back with another video on Black Hawk Rescue Mission, and today's video will be doing a farming method on the desert base that just got revamped with a new AI, so that means new sniper, AI, and RPG type enemies. That being said, if you guys want to see more farming methods on the other bases, you let me know in the comment section down below. Discord links also in the description down below, you guys can go check that out. That being said, let's get started. This method is for all players, even if you're like 1 star or 2 star. I believe it's actually at 1 star right now, because I'm using the 50 mag. It is it is still possible to do it with 30 mag, it's just you won't be able to take out the helicopter, that's the only downside, so if you're below 1 stars, the only problem is you're not going to be able to take out the helicopter, but everything else you'll, you'll be capable of doing. I'm using a 50 mag on my M4A1 here, and I chose a gun that's pretty cheap, so that means like everyone would have it. Uh, any form of transportation would be fine, I'm just using a helicopter to get there, I'm not going to use any of the turrets, all that stuff. Once you arrive to the base, you want to head over to one of these corner houses that I'm heading to. whole objective of this place right here is to take out the, it's not a sniper, but the corner guy and then the three patrol guys at the bottom. Once you take out the three patrol guys at the bottom, it's going to help you when the backup arrives, because when the backup arrives, they come out of the garage and you want to be at the roof which I'll later show in the video, so it's very important that you take out the bottom three guys first and the top guy too that I just took out, so I'll run the gameplay in the background and then pick it back up when I complete the three guys at the bottom. After taking out the three guys, you're probably gonna alert the two guards in front of the door. They always gonna they're always gonna be stationary there. And then there's gonna be a third guy right beside the entrance. You could take him out easily. Stay along the wall, do not go far out the wall so the RPG doesn't kill you from the top. After that, once you go next to the window, easy kill here, they won't see you until you break the glass. Once you break the glass, they are capable of shooting you. Then you can easily just line up some headshots here, as there's gonna be one at the far end of the hallway and then one inside this house. Easy kills here. And you want to keep your distance sometimes because some of them might punch you, some of them might even like hit you with their weapon, it's weird. But that's what they added and then you just want to keep clearing the rooms and make sure that you check your corners. Some of them do flips like that, you got to be careful, some Taekwondo stuff. But like, they're always going to be in the same spots as you're seeing in this video, so just memorize where they're going to be. And once you can find the rhythm, it's going to be easier. Once you make it through the roof, you're going to have to target that RPG guy first. He's the far one to the left, right beside the dead body that you killed earlier on. The backup arrives and you spray them down. They're not going to be able to shoot you for a while unless you jump on that ledge. A couple is probably going to make it through the house unless you wipe them all out. There's going to be two. One of them is probably going to be punching you and the second one has a gun. But you're going to be able to take that out easily and then you wait for your supply drop. Once you get your supply drop, you want to make way to where I'm about to go behind that blue cargo because now he mixed up the waves. It's not going to be in order, it's in random, like it's very random. A helicopter could come or the cars could come or a paratrooper. So you want to be stay behind this blue cargo because this is how you're going to kill the heli, which I'll show when the heli comes. After that wait, you're gonna have something arrive, and for mine, I just got the trucks. When the trucks come, all you have to do is just wait for them to come out, and then take one side on at a time. Just use your Q and E peaks, and it should become really easy. They don't all run towards you if you shoot one down, so that's the plus side. Keep your distance with them, and just line up those headshots. After you clear out one side, grab the other side, and then you do the same thing.
know what happens when we <laughs> we link up. Let's go. Yeah, I got the juice. Yeah, I got the juice. Yeah. Now same thing, you want to clear out all of them and make sure that they're all gone. Once they're all gone, all the cars and bodies will despawn. Run up to your supply drop, re get, resupply, go back to that blue cargo because you don't know what's coming next. Once the next wave comes, I'll pick it back up. Alright, so once the helicopter arrives, this is very crucial. Use the blue cargo as shield and it's going to shoot on top of the cargo. You're going to have to back up slowly and I'd suggest shooting like one bullet and see when you're in range of shooting the helicopter. Find out your like range as in shooting it, if that makes sense. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm explaining it right, but because I was shooting it, I knew when my bullets were about to hit because of those trial of shots, those one shots I was doing. And then once you figure out where to spray, you start spraying it down and you should be able to take it out within the amount of ammo you have. You also have your secondary ammo or secondary pistol that you could use to take it out in case it has like a couple hundreds left. It's still capable of taking it out. And then after that guys, it's probably going to be the paratroopers since that's the last wave. But if the paratroopers came first, just use the cargo as shield guys. But uh, like I said, I only hid in the cargo because the helicopter is probably going to kill you if you wait for the paratroopers at the top. But if you know, if you had the helicopter come after... Or if you had the helicopter, I should just go back in the building because that's the one you know you're okay to be safe. They're not going to send the helicopter back to back. I've never seen that. I could be wrong. Let me know if they ever sent the helicopter back to back. But if you did if you did get your helicopter, then you could proceed back in the building and just hide and wait for the waves to come. What I did is I just chilled in here and waited for the paratroopers to drop down. And then uh, I was good to go. As you're waiting inside this building, you want to make yourself by this window. You want to take that sniper out first. Once you take out the sniper, you're good to go and you can start annihilating everyone else. They're going to be coming up the stairs. You just patiently wait for them. And then once they come up, you're going to slaughter them and then move your way down. So that's pretty much it with the farming guy. This paratroopers isn't too hard. The only hard part is waiting for them to come down because when they come down, they shoot the hell out of you. So you got to be in cover. Easy cleanups here. And um, you do you could carry some vitamins or bandages or dressings whatever you guys desire but i just chose the free bandages just in case some of you guys didn't have it just to show that i could do it without any of them and that means you could too but with that being said guys that's pretty much it with the farming guide you take out the rest of these guys and um you keep repeating it it's going to be random waves after you take out the paratroopers so after you take out the paratroopers go back to that blue cargo and then prepare for the helicopter and if you guys thought this was helpful, be sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, join the Discord in the description down below. Turn on post notifications for more. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.